So what we do here on this facility is we handle most of uh, the generation that's required for uh, Estes Park, Loveland, Longmont, and Fort Collins, City of Fort Collins. In 2016, the rawhide plant had a capacity factor of 91.57%, the third highest in the country for similar sized coal plants. As a result, training opportunities were scarce. So operators may not have a lot of chance to see different scenarios that you probably don't want to see but you need to be prepared for, whereas with the simulator we can put them through those situations and they can be prepared for them so when they do see it real time on the unit, they're much better prepared to react. With the Ovation Digital Twin, the plant completed more than 400 man hours of training within just four months which led to a 44% reduction in simulated startup and shutdown time and related fuel usage. So my use, since I'm an, uh, the controls engineer here, I use it more for testing of patch releases, testing of new control um, designs that we want to implement, or if we want to do any tuning changes on our system. So I basically, if we want to do a change on the primary airflow, we would, we would test it here on the simulator first. And at the beginning, I was a little skeptic. It's, you know, you think it's well, it's a toy. It's, it's, it's I don't know if it's gonna, re it's gonna mimic the real life. But I did it here. I liked the results, and then I did it on the main unit, and it, it mimicked exactly what we wanted to do. And to me, that was that was when I was like really, really sold on the product. All the parameters, steam flow, uh, cold flow, everything, is about as closely matched as you could possibly get to the. To the actual system. That's, that's more ideal than you could ever hope for. And then with my previous experience and a couple other simulators, we've never had that luxury. And uh, with this system, uh, I'm very impressed with what it's offered us. As the plant manager, it gave me a real handle on risk management so that my engineers and technicians were free to come up with unique ideas to tweak or upgrade the control scheme and I didn't have to worry about what's that going to do to the plan? Are we going to have an upset? Am I going to trip the unit because I've done something? They could actually load it into the simulator and see what would happen. Beforehand, I could see what they did and it gave me complete confidence that we were really mitigating risk before we actually made a live change to the unit. That was a big plus that I didn't know we could do when we went through this process. But now that we've been through that, man, I wouldn't give that up for the world.